I'm Kevin, and you're watching an episode of Primitive Trailer Camping. Hey everybody, it's a beautiful day in Central Florida. It is Monday, about 4.30 in the afternoon. You probably hear some squeaking, it's because I'm pulling my trailer behind me. Today was an exciting day. Uh, at 6.30 this morning, I finished my last day with the local sheriff's office. I've been with them for 12 years. I started when I was 18 years old, so it's a pretty big thing, but I no longer work for them. It's kind of relieving in a way. I'm gonna miss all the uh, deputies and coworkers that I worked with. But they're gonna join me for some camping tonight. We're gonna have a little party. So I'm out here in the Withlacoochee Forest, and this is just my favorite forest by far. This is where I come and see the most wildlife and everything. I don't see deer very often, but I definitely see turkeys and owls and raccoons and opossums. You see that all the time out here. It's supposed to be pretty chilly tonight. Could be like 58 degrees. So on the way in, we're gonna search for some firewood. Uh, thanks to Hurricane Irma, uh, there should be a lot of pine trees and uh, oak trees down. So I got an ax and a couple hatchets. So we should be able to uh, get some nice firewood and have a nice fire going until about four o'clock in the morning or so. We are almost to the point where we're gonna camp. I didn't film too much of an intro this time because we have a bad habit of setting up camp in the dark and cooking and then you just can't really see anything. So it's about 4.50 now. So we're gonna set up camp in the daytime for once and then wait for everybody to get there and start a fire, cook some steaks. Ron's got a new way of cooking steak we're gonna try tonight. Man, Stoff beat us here again. That's two for two now. But we got our favorite little spot. We got a picnic table this time. I guess they must've dropped that off. But we're gonna scope this out and figure out how we're gonna set up camp. So here's our little camp so far. <clears throat> we got uh, Stoff, Josh, and of course uh, my trailer right there. Waiting on Ron, he's going to uh, his family's tree farm to get some firewood for us. <clears throat> he's gonna come, we're gonna set a nice fire, grill some steaks, and then later uh, Chase is gonna show up and maybe a few other people. So it's almost 7 o'clock at night, and this is the Withlacoochee River. And this is how close we're uh, camping on the Withlacoochee River. During uh, Hurricane Irma, the water was actually 12 feet uh, up. This whole area was flooded, and this uh, little camping area was closed for almost a year. No, he's probably almost already here. He only lives like maybe 20 minutes away. Oh, okay. So we're making french fries right now. We're just slicing up the potatoes, soaking them in some water to soak out some of the starches. And what is what is this thing? That is a, um, what it is is it's a potato soaker. <laughs> uh, <coughs> that's not gonna bug. 
<laughs> so the Timbo Tusk over there let us down. It does not work. Something happened with the, uh, or there it is right there. Something happened with the burner that they sent us. They have a brand new bottle, but there's no fuel going through it. So thanks a lot, Timbo Tusk. Here's our tried and true. Yeah, we're going with the 1953 model Primus uh, outdoor grill. I thought it was 33. 33. No, it's like 50s. <laughs> oh, maybe we can find a date. We've got to be. 1492. <laughs> oh, that's the address. Oh, uh, whoever finds it first gets to eat first. <laughs> okay, so I'm done looking, but they they weren't required to put dates. Yeah, back, then. back then there was no date. <laughs> well, it's made in America, so. So anyway, we're gonna cook the uh, the French fry potato deal on here, and also we're gonna make some macaroni right over there. So. Did anybody bring grilling tongs? This is primitive trailer camping, sir. <laughs> Did anybody bring? Oh, I heard something about a thong. <laughs> no, grilling thong. Thong. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, we have some nice whole carrots with some Everglades seasoning on them. And some peanut oil. Some peanut oil and show off your nice little uh, tongs. Yep, that would be a palm frond. Here comes the first time we've ever done this. Okay, that looks good. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so this piece of crap Timbo Tusk failed on us. The burner they gave us is not uh, supplying fuel to it. Not that this grill is in much better shape. <laughs> but we're going to cook the macaroni on the left, and the right is the pan for the, uh, the french fries potatoes we're going to make. Which is going to be a little more messy in this pan versus how wide the Timbo Tusk is. Oh no. <laughs> I need some more water. Something happened. Those tongs though. I saw this on uh... I kinda got a little excited with the macaroni and uh, I don't think it's gonna cook right. <laughs> Santos were up here with uh, Deridondo, one of the guys we work with. Yeah. And uh, he collects figurines. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Figurine man, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> so there, I guess there were some other people that were over there. This one's probably needs to cook more. <laughs> I wasn't recording earlier. <laughs> Slow. Make eye contact. Eye contact. Make it awkward. <laughs> So even though this Timbo Tusk is not working, there's no uh, burner or propane, I uh, dumped the noodles out and mixed the macaroni on it. Makes a good plate. <laughs> Got 
Got some more french fries coming off. And we have a few more sticks that are on the grill and the carrots, and then we'll be ready to eat. <laughs> oh, I have chopsticks! <laughs> you want me to get them? They're in my truck. Oh my god, it's too late now, man! <laughs> Nicole and I went to uh, this all-you-can-eat... You know I'm really good with chopsticks, right? We would have been golden. Well, you know, <laughs> this is fun. This oh no, the carrot. It's ashy. Oh, it's oh, oh so perfect. Not perfect. Not perfect. <laughs> <laughs> is this gonna be a music video? From this? <laughs> <laughs> Let the carrots hit the floor. <laughs> you know, it would be fitting for that song. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Maybe you can salvage that thing right there. Yeah. You just, you know. just, yeah, I think it's. <sighs> Oh yeah, golden. I like how you put your cup right in the middle of the table. <laughs> I don't want it to spill. No, no, I know what you're doing. It's, it's clever. <laughs> Some amazing uh, steak from Chef Ron. Some homemade uh, french fries. I don't know what the hell that is, rabbit food. Yours looks presentable. Let me snap the photo to the gram. <laughs> Because mine's not gonna look that Hold nice. Hold on, one second, yeah, one second. Stop, stop, stop. So was that like glitter for the camera? <laughs> actually, <laughs> hey, no, hey, no, no, you laugh. Look, look at the photo. You can actually see the uh, pepper <laughs> that he put in it. You see it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hold on, I gotta take pictures too. It's too much light. So as you can see, the macaroni was a real hit. French fries are gone, steak's gone, it was freaking delicious. The carrots were a huge hit. I've never had a carrot that tasted that well. I mean, we put Everglades seasoning on it and cooked it over the flame. Still uh, working on my steak and my macaroni, I'm a slow eater. The fun part about it was just Santa was laughing at him. The ducks as they fucking go by. Wait, that's not water, that's diesel. <laughs> we could not have asked for better weather. Uh, the mosquitoes weren't so bad. I want to say it got down to like 62 degrees, maybe. Uh, clear night, all the stars were out. Uh, a couple of raccoons came. Uh, saw a lot of bats, heard a lot of owls. We did not see an alligator during the daylight, but when we shined the Q-beam out across the Withacuchi River, we could see little eyeballs that uh, we guessed were alligator eyes. But if it, if it was an alligator, it wasn't more than three feet, three and a half feet long. That's why we like coming out here. It's just, there's a lot of wildlife and it's quiet and it's in the middle of nowhere. I mean, you can't hear anything. You're not gonna have anybody coming through your campsite late at night revved their engines or causing problems or anything. So we got Ron's truck, Chase and his brand new F-150. My truck and trailer, then we have Josh in the rear with his uh, Tacoma. Now I'm trying to make this video pretty short. Uh, lately they've all been like 15 to 20 minutes, which is a really long time to keep people's attention going. So hopefully uh, this one can be entertaining and less than 10 minutes but thanks for watching and thanks again for all the comments good and bad I replied to all of them so you guys have a good day <laughs>